All right, what is going on, everybody? It's Thunder. Welcome back. Uh, today's video, I want to talk about a few things. First off, I want to talk about the Mayweather Pacquiao fight that went down last night. And no, I did not watch it on pay per view. And I feel sorry for all you guys who did. All you guys who went out there and dropped 100 bones just to watch Mayweather and Pacquiao. Well, actually, Mayweather uh, dance around the ring, do what he usually does, the, the worm squirm style boxing. Uh, hey, look, man! I you didn't even I didn't have to wake up and look and and check the internet this morning to see who won. I already know who's gonna win that fight. I already knew it would have went twelve rounds, just like all Mayweather's fights go. His big fights go twelve rounds. Oh, the split decision with him just dominating the CompuBox stats, and that's all Mayweather is, dude. Mayweather's a stat nerd. That's all he is. I mean, yes, he's a talented, skilled uh, boxer. I guess you could say the sweet science of boxing. All he does is just play defense, man. He plays defense. Mayweather is like a camper in COD. He just he, Mayweather is that one dude who just sits in a corner and waits till you run by him and then shoots you in the back. That's that's all Mayweather does. He camps. I mean, that fight went 12 rounds last night, man. You see those dudes after the fight was over, not a scratch on either one of them. I mean, they looked like they just got ready to... Uh, they looked like they just got done having a night of clubbing. Like they were all sweaty. Like they were dancing all night long. They didn't even have a scratch on them. Like... Instead of going to the hospital, like, you know, you fight 12 rounds, you gotta figure, damn, you'd be banged up, you're fighting a professional fighter, fighting 12 rounds, you'd be all banged up, you need to go to the hospital and get checked out. It looked like those two dudes were ready to go out for breakfast. They're like, shit, I'm hungry after that, let's go eat. You dudes dropped 100 bones to watch Mayweather and Pacquiao do some Taibo. That's what you guys did. That wasn't a boxing match. That was an exercise class. So, you know what, man? <laughs> they both made big money, though. Mayweather and Pacquiao split a $230 million purse. And I've got to imagine that since Mayweather won, he probably got the bigger split. But still, even if May took 130 and Pat got 100, 100 million? Shit, I'd take 100 million dollars to let Mayweather run around me in circles all night long and throw jabs at me for 12 rounds? Who wouldn't? Fantastic. Call in the K9 unit. And look, man, that wasn't the real Manny Pacquiao anyway, man. This fight should have happened a long time ago. The real Manny Pacquiao died back in 2012 with that Juan Marquez-Manuel fight. You remember that fight when Manny Pacquiao got knocked out and everybody was doing those fucking Photoshop pictures of Manny Pacquiao sleeping on the beach? Yeah, that's when the real Manny Pacquiao died. This dude that Floyd Mayweather fought, whatever. Manny Pacquiao was saying his shoulder was hurting him. Whatever, man. The, look, the worst thing you could do after you lose is make excuses. Just lose. If your shoulder was hurting you, you shouldn't have called. You shouldn't have fought. If you're not 100%, you shouldn't have fought. Postpone it. Fuck it. Ooh, look at that sexy K9 Cujo feed. Mm -mm -mm. I mean, nobody would blame you for not wanting to fight that dude anyway, man. Old Mayweather does his camp in the ring. I mean, can you imagine Mayweather versus Mayweather? Like, if they clone Mayweather and had him fight himself, it would be like watching two dudes do the worm squirm on hijacked against each other. It would be boring. Like, nobody would want to watch it. But anyway. Uh, I even heard that uh, Mayweather said he knows nobody could beat him in his style. He even said he's going to relinquish his title just to give some other dudes a chance. Like, no one's going to beat him. And I, I got to admit, I wanted to see Pacquiao win last night, in case you can't tell. I wanted to see Pacquiao win. Uh, when I woke up this morning, I was hoping I would be checking the Yahoo News and they would be saying Pacquiao wins, but nope. Nope. I knew it anyway. I was hoping for it, but I knew what would happen. Anyway, uh, getting into this... My main topic of the commentary here, fellas, I want to talk about something I saw in a Drifter video. Now, you guys know, oh, kiss my ass, Thunder Lips, get drop shot at son. Uh, you guys know that, yeah, I, I got a big YouTube channel here, but I'm not on the, the good boy list or whatever. Activision don't want nothing to do with me, man. Activision never invites me. They don't offer to have me come out there and alpha test or beta test or whatever fucking test they got going on. I'm not on the good boy list. I don't get invited to these places. They have a select group of guys who they seem to invite out every year to alpha test to beta test the game and uh, see look at this dude right here this is this is a mayweather guy look at this ghost with silence target finder camper there, there you go that's a mayweather style right there if mayweather played cod that's how he would play right there he won't be rushing around like an animal like i'm doing he, he'd be doing just like what these guys are doing look at this sitting up camping picking people off taking their shots when they can now, i'm gonna go flank this dude i'm gonna go flank this dude and, and destroy him like mike tyson well see back in the day man Back in the day when I used to watch boxing, when I was a kid, we had Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson come out there. There'd be no damn 12-round fights. Mike Tyson come out there and knock your ass out. You'd be done. He'd end up, there'd be like maybe two, three rounds tops. You didn't see no damn 12 rounds of Tybo back when Mike Tyson was doing his thing in the ring. But anyway, man, enough about that. Like I was saying, dude, so Drifter is one of these guys who gets invited out to 
alpha test, pre pre alpha test Black Ops 3. Now, out of all the dudes who got invited out there, I chose to watch Drifter's video. And he was talking about a few things. He was talking about the kill streaks, which are very near and dear to my heart. You guys know how much I love kill streaks. Well, actually, they're score streaks. Score streaks are coming back. I just call them kill streaks. I've been playing COD forever, man, and I'm just used to calling them kill streaks. And he said three things that I found very, very interesting. First, he said is that the score streaks in Black Ops 3 are actually very useful and effective. Now, I know what a few of you guys might be thinking. Oh, Thunder, of course he's going to say the game's good and the streaks are good. These guys are all corporate puppets and yes-men. Why do you think Activision's inviting them out there in the first place? Well, I'll tell you what. Judging on Treyarch's body of work, okay, the streaks in Black Ops 1 were pretty decent. The streaks in Black Ops 2 were incredible. They had the best streaks in any game. We're right here in Black Ops 2. These streaks are amazing. They're all useful. They're all a lot of fun. You can mix and match your score streak loadout in so many different combinations and ways. And... I think Treyarch is going to follow suit with this, man. I think Treyarch is going to bring back the effective killstreak system we saw here in Black Ops 2. Uh, because the killstreak system we saw... And don't give me this bullshit. Oh, people, they camp for killstreaks, man. That's why we don't need killstreaks in the game, because people camp for them. That's bullshit. Because COD Ghosts was the campiest fucking COD I ever played in my life. Well, that and MW3. I, I, I really don't know. It's like a tie. You got to remember, man, I'm a Team Deathmatch player. And Team Deathmatch and MW3... Fucking unplayable, dude. It is a complete camp fest, man. You can't even move. But the streaks in Go sucked. And it was the campiest fucking COD I've ever played. So don't give me this bullshit. People camp for streaks. People camp just to camp. That's why they do it. Okay? And yes, I know camping is a, is a play style. And I don't expect everyone to play like me and rush around. But people don't camp just for streaks. I'm going I'm to I'm say that right now. So just throw that whole argument out the window. So, streaks are going to be effective. He also said that the UAV will once again be easier to spot, just like they are here in Black Ops 2, which is another thing that Treyarch did completely right. And look at this death right here. Oh, I did a face plant into that fucking Claymore, damn it. Oh, get on, son. So, I was very happy to hear that because in Black Ops 1, man, I was so pissed looking up in the sky. I mean, the, the UAV was almost impossible to spot in Black Ops 1. And he also said that the dogs are being replaced by rolling killer balls that shoot spikes. Any of you guys who grew up in the 80s remember that movie, uh, that horror movie Critters? Them aliens that would roll around and shoot spikes at you? I know Von Harmon's seen that movie a bunch of times. But, I mean, are you really replacing the Cujos, Von? You're replacing the Cujos with Critters? I don't know. Very, very interesting. But I'll link that Drifter video down in the description, guys. You guys can check it out. And, yeah, so exciting kill streaks, easy to spot UAVs, and rolling balls that shoot spikes at people. Hmm, Von de Haar's Killer Balls. Can't wait. Hope you guys enjoy the video. I'll see you on the next one. Let's go. It's the legend of thunder. You can't rock like this. Get owned and pwned. Think up and drop shot like this. Whole nother level. Why am in the thunder zone? Man, Mexicod, welcome to the thunder zone. Team 9 lethal. We drop back to back like birds. They go to spicy red Dorito chips. Dinner is served. Uh oh, here comes the thunder. Here comes the rain. Fully loaded MP7. I'ma blow out your brain. <laughs> Grab my scabby pack and spam C4 Have them rage quicking from X1 to PS4 My BDW buzzing strategically place a Russian Moving taters 100 buzzing cause Timmy is no thumbing I'm flawless up in TDM I got skill So poor hunters and dyers man that's not real Uh uh I shut them down like a EMP Get thunderstruck when you step to me Now let's go I'm ready to fight Let's go but all I wanna do is rock and roll I'm ready for war, let's roll Be ready when you hear that thunder roll I'm ready to fight, let's go But all I wanna do is rock and roll I'm ready for war, let's roll Be ready when you hear that thunder roll You can't hide, we got be set up Look like some spicy red nitros, I eat that up You wanna rock with the best, well the best is me Get thunderstruck when you step to me now let's go You can't hide, we got beats that up. Look like some spicy red nachos, I eat that up You wanna rock with the best, well the best is me Get thunderstruck when you step to me Now let's go <laughs> This has been brought to you by the one and only This 9, AKA Doom Killer 92, baby You are now rocking with the best Thunderstruck, thunderstruck, freedom pride, freedom pride. <laughs> Let's go, man.